Hey guys, this is Steve from StarQuestParts.net. Uh, today, what we're going to work on, uh, I'm going to basically show everybody how to remove uh, this combination of items right here. Whether you need to get your clamshell off, I get asked for those all the time, the steering column surround, which we call the clamshell. Those always crack and break because people yank on them and, and, and destroy them. Uh, but in this video, I'll show you how to take off the steering wheel, which then exposes the ability to take off the clamshell. And then after that, to get your uh, turn signal, you know, wiper stalk um, combination switch off. And in order to do that, you have to take off this bottom panel too. All of this is really easy, but I'll just go through it here in one quick video, okay? So here we go. All right, first things first, I'm gonna get in here and I'm gonna take the steering wheel off. This is an 8889 steering wheel, but the process is really the same. You're just gonna pry this cover off, okay? It just snaps off. It's got these little retainer clips that keep this plugged into the wheel. It's 117 millimeter right on the middle. Go ahead and pull that off. Now, depending on, sometimes this comes right off and sometimes if it hasn't been off before, you've got to shake this thing for literally two or three minutes as hard as you can back and forth, up and down, side to side, get some leverage on it because it's on a spline shaft in the middle. So it needs some rocking back and forth to get it off. It doesn't feel like it will, but it will. Boom, there's your wheel. Again, it's just back and forth movement that goes ahead, goes ahead and backs it off that splined, uh, spline shaft there. So go ahead and put the steering wheel aside. Steering wheel's off. All right, now in order to get this clamshell off and the turn signal uh, wiper levers, we need to take this bottom panel off. Pretty easy. You've got uh, a few Phillips head right underneath the dash here. One, two, three. Then you have, you pop this switch out here just with a flat head. You're just gonna pop this switch that used to be here, unplug it. That's gonna expose a Phillips head. Same thing here. It's gonna expose a Phillips head there. It's easy to strip these, so you're best off to use one of these if you can versus just a standard screwdriver. That's up to you. Boom. This comes right off. That exposes your clamshell. If you still have one of these intact, go ahead and take off your tilt steering knob. If you don't have one, let me know. I got them. Uh, all right. How's that? All right. So now we've got one, two, three, four, five screws in from the bottom. Phillips head. Again, long screwdriver or if you have an impact, that's best, a drill. One, let them fall out. Two, three, and then the back two are at an angle. Bottom half of your clamshell is off, okay? How do you guys break this? Just go ahead, pull this all the way down. As long as you can get it over top of your, I'm sorry, no. You can do it that way if you want to, but I like to take this out first if I can. All you've got, Phillips head on the bottom, Phillips head on the top, that's loose. However, if you look under here, here's all your wires. Easy to get to, it's just you have all these little clamps, uh, wire ties, that you need to bend back in order to free up these clips so you can pull them apart. So I think you got two or three of them. So there they go right there. It loosens all that stuff up. You got about, I think there's four clips here. There's one. Come on. Come back to you later. Two, three, four, and this pesky one. Man. All right, you know what? There. All right, that's to your ignition and to your multifunction switch. So now that thing's loose. Now you can pull this out. And that's going to give you easier access. 
All right, there's that multifunction switch assembly. Pull your steering column down, boom, there's your clamshell. Okay, like I said, you can, you can feasibly get around this to get this out, but that's probably how several of you are breaking them because you kind of gotta, you gotta be perfect with it. So if you just pull this out, take the extra couple minutes, then you've got your clamshell. And uh, the reason you wanna be careful with the screws too, if you look in the top part of the clamshell, you'll see it has the actual um, thread side, metal threads up into each one of these, and it's easy to break these and pull them out. So do it carefully, get the screw all the way up. Don't start, start pulling on it before you do, or else it'll pull those out and break the plastic on these. So there's your clamshell, there's your multifunction switch, there's your steering wheel. And then you, uh, you know, if you ever need to replace like your ignition switch, uh, this is what you'll need to do to get to that. Some people just replace the whole steering column, but there's basically um, two, they ask this a lot of times, there are two um, gold, I don't even know what you call them, kind of like rivets here. So what you have to do is, these actually turn, they're like screws, but what you have to do is cut, take a chisel and a hammer and cut yourself like a flathead um, slit in each one of these so that way you can actually turn them like a screw. Otherwise, it's just a pain in the butt, um, but that's really the only way to do it. So they should have put screw heads on there, but they didn't, So they, but they actually do screw, so go figure. Um, anyway, I think that's about it. Uh, if y'all have any other questions on this kind of stuff, let me know. Pretty straightforward. I've got all this stuff in stock if you need it, www.starquestparts.net. This is Steve. Catch you later.